Thanks, Lindsay. Well, there is a new book that offers guidance to help tee up some personal and professional success. Green Golf Balls by Dan Sheff aims to provide advice on how to stand out from those around you. And Dan is here to tell us about his new book. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you for having me. I got to ask right off the bat here, the book is called Green Golf Balls. Tell us why. I was running one night near our home and I saw a green a golf ball that was in my path and it was getting dark. And I thought, thankfully, that wasn't green or I wouldn't have seen it, and I'd have stepped on it and fallen into the street and got mangled, I'm sure. And it occurred to me that people are like that, even if they go where they're supposed to go, to work, to the office, to wherever they're supposed to go, they blend in. Mm -hmm. They think just being there is enough, and we're not designed for that. We're designed to stand out. Yeah, but some may say, though, it is so much easier just to blend in. If you end up trying to maybe be different or you don't blend in, it could be harder for you at work or even in life. It, it can be, but blending in lets you hover at the top of the bell curve, and we're not meant to do that. We're meant to nonconform in a positive way and exercise the two pains in life, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. And too many people at the end of their life get to the end and they go, I uh, should have, I would have, I could have tried that yeah. and didn't exercise the pain of discipline. How do you break that comfort? It's so comfortable to blend in. Well, that's very interesting. You have to break it down into little steps. Your station did a story about an individual that lost 300 pounds. Unbelievable achievement. Well, that person didn't leave 300, lose 300 pounds at once. They lost one pound. 300 times. So sometimes we look for the big cataclysmic great event to transform our lives. It's really the little things. This book, which by the way I love because it's really not that thick. Yes. <laughs> this this is the read kind of fast. read. Yeah, this is the kind of read I love. Yep. Uh, you can easily read it, yep. uh, but it's very meaningful. There's a lot of stuff in here and a lot of questions you want people to ask. These are some of the questions which he says you need to tee up for yourself and answer them honestly. When was the last time you failed at something? Why did you fail? And you go on to say, have these lessons or have you learned anything from these lessons? Tell us about these questions and why you put them there. I wanted to get the book idea out of my head, and it was actually introspective as well to force myself to try and be a nonconformist. And I found that the book, I wrote it to teach people, but it really is more to test people. Yeah. And if they answer these questions honestly, it'll be a pretty good blueprint for what they could do to change their yeah. life. So did you fail, which caused you to maybe... Oh, numerous times. Numerous times. And actually, and, I encourage and, my children to try things and fail. That is great. Yeah. That, that's hard to say, but it's actually good because yes. you can learn so much from failure. Dan? Thank you very much. Hey, man, thank you so much. I love the book. It is very... You